Hi friends, in this video, we are going to be talking about a very simple strategy to crack the next FMG exam, which is going to take place in January 2024. Now, before I start off the discussion with the plan, I just want you to have a look at the slide appearing in front of you, which categorically talks about the focus on your dreams. Please remember a simple fact. All of you wanted to wear that white coat. All of you wanted to have that stith around your neck. All of you wanted to take care of your patients in the best possible manner. But just remember a simple fact that your dreams are not your dreams only. They are the dreams of the people who have loved you for long. They have been the dreams of the people who have cared for you. And when I say that, needless to make a mention that it practically belongs to your family members also. तो आपने एक सिंपल चीज याद रखनी है कि जो आपके सपने होते हैं वो अपने नहीं होते वो अपनों के भी होते हैं दैट इंक्लूड्स योर वेलविशर्स दैट इंक्लूड्स योर सिबलिंग्स एंड मोस्ट अबव ऑल दैट इंक्लूड्स द ड्रीम्स ऑफ योर पेरेंट्स सो प्लीज 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 डू एवरीथिंग विद इन योर रीच टू रियलाइज योर ड्रीम्स एट द अर्लीस्ट नो वेन आई टॉक अबाउट द वे टू प्रिपेयर फॉर द एग्जाम द वेरी फर्स्ट फैक्ट इज दैट इन स्पाइट ऑफ हैविंग अराउंड सिक्सटी प्लस डेज can we make it and the answer is a big vehement yes so therefore you have to have a belief in yourself please remember the fact that you cannot fix up what has taken place yesterday but for sure you can take the responsibility of what is going to come tomorrow to aapko sabse pehli cheez yaad rakhni hai ki exam crackable hai haan ji abhi bhi crackable hai lekin kaise crackable hai uske liye aapko kuch important cheezon ka dhyan rakhna padega और जब हम उन इंपॉर्टेंट चीजों की बात करते हैं तो ऑफ कोर्स सबसे पहली चीज है कि हमने प्लानिंग कर ली हमने मन बना लिया वी ऑलरेडी हैड अ एम ऑफ क्लियरिंग द एग्जाम वी नीड टू हैव एन एक्शन प्लान कंसिडरिंग द टाइम दैट वी हैव ऑन आर प्लैटर आई हैव जस्ट डिवाइडेड द डिविजन ऑफ द डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स इन टू दीज डेज डेलीबरेटली डन इन अ मैनर वेयर इन वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट्स इन अ प्रोफाइज फैशन एज वेल एज कीपिंग इन माइंड द वेटेज विच हैज बीन गिवन टू द डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स so if i look at this particular plan closely i have given anatomy a good 3 days i have given physiology a good 2 days biochemistry 2 days pathology 3 days pharmacology 3 days microbiology 2 days forensic medicine 1 day ent and ophthalmology 1 and a half days each psm 3 days medicine surgery 4 days each pediatrics 2 days obstetrics and gynecology 3 days skin anesthesia radio diagnosis psychiatry and orthopedics one day i shall be sharing that tentative schedule for the reference of all of you in a telegram group as well what i want you to understand is that if you collectively count all these days together the total comes out to be 40 days now why only 40 days why not more why not less first fact is that this is the time to my experience which is required for reading the subject well now presuming that you have had some basic idea about these subjects i want you to utilize two third of the time given to each subject for the purpose of revision of your theory and one third of the time to practice the mcqs of the respective subject please also remember that when i talk about 60 days so i have given 40 days in total for the first reading presuming that this happens to be a first reading for all those of you who are preparing for your exam of course we are going to be in a far better position but still those 40 days are going to be taking care of the first reading the next 20 days for each of these subjects just reduce the time by 50% jo time aapko abhi mila hai aapko uska aadha kar lena hai apni agli revision ke liye and when you are going to be doing this even starting off with today which means a good 60 days when we are having for the exam you will at least have two more revisions we understand that at times there are people who are going to be having a problem in covering the subjects when they are looking at the videos so for taking care of that we do have the presence of the live sessions under the mission program of cerebellum in case you belong to a category of a student who is not very comfortable looking at the lectures and who wants to have an interaction with the respective faculty please do have a look at the mission videos a lot of people did benefit from the live sessions which were done for the june july session and now there are going to be fresh sessions with added material with more relation with the questions which are being done now so in case you wish to attend those live sessions you're going to be most welcome otherwise 
this particular schedule will ensure that 60 days you will be having at least two revisions and when we talk about those revisions we always have to keep in our mind that let's do this together of course for any kind of an exam there are certain basics that have to be adhered to kya hote hain wo basics jo inka aapko hamesha hi dhyan rakhna hai taki hum bhul na jaye just for the sake of that revision we have to minimize our distractions so the fundamental concept of minimizing your screen time and when i talk about the screen time over here i intend to refer to the non academic screen time so the best thing would be if your phone is going to be on then it is going to buzz and if it is going to buzz it is going to take away your focus so keep the phone on the airplane mode for the time when you are studying so which means that you have to rather counting than the number of hours you have to make each minute each hour count for your academics the second happens to be regular practice of mcqs you would have heard so many people clearing the exam and sharing with you that it is not only the theory which has helped them crack the exam it is also the regular practice of the questions and specifically cerebellum q bank has got the kind of questions which are going to be a mixed bag in the sense that there are going to be certain one liner type of questions which means straight information asked questions and there are going to be questions which are got a clinical history which is the pattern of the exam these days any kind of a test that you're going to be appearing in any kind of a grand test is going to be giving you a very good insight about the subjects which are your strength and the subjects which you are not so good at when we talk about the subjects which you are good at be having a solace in them that those are the ones in which you are likely to have a better score for the subjects which happen to be a gray areas please pay more attention to them whenever we are going to be talking about the third thing that's going to be whether we are talking about the concept of as they say the sun and the moon so one of these happen to be the source of the light and the other one happens to be just a reflector of light but then again whether somebody happens to be the source or somebody happens to be the reflector the aim is to shine bright what for you as a student that would mean is whether you're creating the content by yourself or whether looking at the notes which have been prepared by you or you are having the printed notes by you make sure that every line which has been written in the notes is being remembered by you as much as possible the exams are a time when a lot of students are naturally likely to be stressed and there are going to be lots and lots of stories floating around no matter wherever you are whether you are in india watching this video where whether you are still abroad but there are going to be people who are telling you exam aisa aata hai exam waisa aata hai ye mock test kar lo iske itne questions utne iske questions trust one source right and ignore all the naysayers because naysayers are going to run away the day you are going to be having a good bright result in your hand not only we have to crack the exam but we have to ensure that we crack with a super score and when i say a super score personally i would want each one of you watching this video to get a score of 200 plus remember this is a threshold exam there is no limit there is no cut off with respect to how many people can pass the exam of course there has been certain times when the score has been better the pass percentages have been better perhaps because of the fact that people worked harder or because of the fact the people were having more attuning of the questions but as it happens the moment there is a good result the subsequent batch people have a tendency to become complacent this is not a time for any of us to lose our focus to become complacent and therefore keeping the focus intact we have to ensure that we have an action plan we have to ensure that we have to follow the fundamentals of creating any exam not only the screening exam but all subsequent exams henceforth right and keeping that in mind we must never ever forget what comes on the screen that's a gentle reminder you are far more stronger than what you think you are it's all about thinking about success about clearing your exam over here once you start believing in it once you start acting on it there is nothing which is going to be stopping you ever ever and ever as always please do take very good care of your health and all the very best wishes from my side till the time we catch up on the other side taking up interviews of each one of you when you crack the exam with a super score this is me signing off best wishes always